Hey there, Elizabeth Scala back here with our elbow surgery, healing from the patient's perspective, patient's journey uh, video series. Today, I really wanna quickly talk to you about uh, the day of surgery. And there's a couple of videos that'll be about the day of surgery, so I'm gonna keep it specific to the topic so we stick to time. But the day of surgery, what to bring. So you're going for elbow surgery, you're gonna have some kind of anesthesia, you'll have somebody driving you to and from the surgery, your surgery center and or hospital uh, office, whatever place you're having the surgery in will tell you what time to arrive and all that fun stuff, but what to bring. And I am, wanna talk about this for a very specific reason. They will tell you to bring pretty much nothing, which is true, because uh, here's my story in a moment. Bring your identification card, bring your insurance card, bring your method of payment. You know, the surgery, place of surgery will tell you all of those particulars. And then they will tell you, don't bring anything. Makes sense. So I did that. I had my husband drive me, drop me off um, at the scheduled time. I literally had my license, my insurance card, and a payment, form of payment in one hand and I had nothing else. You can't bring a bag in, you often can't bring a phone, you can't bring a lot of stuff because they'll call your caretaker person, your driver who's gonna pick you up, they'll do all that because you won't be driving. So I brought this tiny little pin. This pin, it's, uh, it says healing pathways on it. Probably can't see the words, but this tiny pin I received um, when I became a Reiki master, when I was attuned to Reiki master. So I've gone through all the Reiki training and I, I'm a Reiki master. And I received this Healing Pathways pin. And this pin's very special to me. It has provided me with confidence when I'm giving a keynote speech to thousands of people. Um, it helped me feel safe. Uh, it helps me feel connected to my Healing Pathways program. This is a very special pin. So I was thinking to myself, I'm going to surgery. I'm gonna bring this tiny little pin and I'm gonna have it connected just to like, oh, you, you, you're not gonna be needing like a bra or any of that if you're a female. Um, but I wanted to put this pin and I told the prep nurse, I said, I'm gonna put this like, like tiny little pin uh, pinned to my underwear. Cause they're gonna give you a gown, they'll give you a cap. You will only be wearing your underwear. They'll give you footies, little socks to wear. You'll put all your clothes into a bag that they will lock up for you. And so you really don't have anything to wear. So I was like, can I just pin this little pin to my gown or something? And she said, honestly, Elizabeth, no. We just really don't want you to lose it. We don't want anything to happen to it. And because of all <laughs> that goes on in healthcare, the world of healthcare, items being lost, stolen, broken, what have you, uh, no, I had to put this pin with all my belongings uh, locked up in the locker that the nurse you know, took all my stuff, put it in a plastic patient bag and locked it up in a locker and, and that was that. So I had the pin with me, but it was in my little locker. But I said, you know what? The Reiki energy, <laughs> the healing energy is with me because it's in this building at least. So don't bring anything to your day of surgery. Even if you have a special keepsake, something that makes you feel calm, all of the above, you really won't be able to bring it with you. So keep that stuff at home. Know that the healing energy is with you at all times and don't bring anything to your day of surgery. 